But yeah, Green Devil is the best, best Chieftain Cheese unit in the game. Do do. Ha ha. Thanks for that follow. Yeah, if you're gonna Chieftain Cheese anything, like I was doing there, it's not as useful these days because of how the game is a lot faster and no game goes late. Because like Chieftain Cheese gets better and better as the game goes goes later and later. Like it's amazing in overtime. But how many wave twenty one games do we see these days? Um Welcome But if you Nova. are gonna Chieftain Cheese, you wanna Chieftain Cheese a gargoyle, a Yazora, or a or a um for each time you carry me. Hey, thank you. Or a bunk. Those are those are gonna be the best Chieftain Cheese units in the game. I chose Cash Out. Cash Out is like the easiest one for me. So I get 22 extra gold at the start, but no income. This is probably the easiest Yaw's Sea Dragon roll. Pretty easy. I really cannot see. I cannot kill wave 10, so I'll have to reroll for that. Absolutely no chance to kill wave 10 with any of these units. I always go Yazor in the second column. I don't know why. And then I'll put the Sea Dragon probably about right there. So it tanks the boss on 5 and it tanks a Lizard on wave 3. Normally you're going to get sent on wave 3 and wave 5 with a Yazor start. Normally, right? You do get crazier and crazier stuff every now and then. But that is the expectation. So I always go five workers with the cash out. I'm always going to go sea dragon about, I think it's a tile and a half. So. Zillikin, what's up, buddy? I should probably have a cutoff for that raffle. What, six hours in? Do it at like seven o'clock my time? Uh, for me, it's 5.30. That'd be an hour and a half. Would you still be here, Dimmel? So this guy is overbuilding. He was scared of the snail. I could have sex with him on wave four, right? I could, and I think I will. Because I can't place anything extra by sending. Got you, got you. That should be good enough to tank the lizard. Don't forget to ask for consent first. True. Yeah, we've got a lot of people that have applied, so maybe maybe after this game. Get your raffle votes in, guys, if you haven't typed uh, exclamation raffle. For the Desert Ridge campaign. Now, I always like sending a dino on wave 4 because it's really hard for them to kill. Alright, and because it's on the ground... Hey, let's go. Because it's on the ground... Uh, they attack that before they attack the flying stuff. Isn't that unit going to be killed? Easy late game, the one that you put in front. Yes. Yes, with this, you slowly have to build a little bit forward to protect it. Correct. That is, you are correct. However, the early game is so much more important. Right? So if you had the Sea Dragon behind, you could leak on three. 
I don't want to send the snail. Because I want it to mess with that green devil. Alright, so now they're both attacking the, the dino. I think they're going to kill it. But. I get a free send here. This is not a good send. You literally can hold, like, every time. I, I'm pretty sure I hold even without adding the chain fist. And see, because we saved our Mythium and just sent income on wave 4, we did pretty good. And because we sent the Snail, we can catch them with a recent. And that's my plan. So we're just back to just sending income, having a good time. Everybody's partying. Everybody's happy. Mainly me. Would you recommend playing Chaos? I like Chaos. It's a bit harder, but you would get to know the units a lot better. There's going to be situations where you're just screwed. But it can help you plan it out really well. So I did not have it high enough, so this was a mistake. <laughs> Thanks for that follow. Thank you for that follow. And because they sent a Brute, I will leak. Spaghetti... God original spaghetti God thank you I did not get him because he did not push a single worker he is still at the same amount of workers he was before so although I leak I really don't care right I just continue income sending and it's just gonna be last game where I'm just gonna start to outscale them but now I need an even split so that that sea dragon does not die. Or at least does not die as quickly. Right. I'll put a little garg there. Hopefully saving it. You always want to even split on six. Why send and not upgrade king instead? They get free gold from your sends if they don't leave. Yeah, that's true. But you get the gold too. I forgot to do the predict prediction. Oh, okay. You get the gold too. So if you just do king, nobody gets the gold. Until you for the following, following wait. And that's why I say you, you only really want to income king if you really, really feel like you're better than your opponent. Right? It's just a math problem. So if let's say I have 40 mythium before the end of this wave... If I send the 12, I get the 12 gold. And yes, my opponent also gets the 12 gold. That is true. But if I don't send and I just do the 40 king ups, right? If I just do the 40 king ups, can I kill that lizard? Nice. This is fun. If I just do that 40 king ups, I don't get that 12 gold until the next wave. Yes, my opponent does not. But I would rather just continue scaling, continue pushing. Yeah, one wave behind. And that's why I always say, you only want to do it against people you think you can beat. I mean, it's, it's just, it's the truth. Right? It's just the truth. That's why in higher elo, when people... When do you win the giveaway? What does the raffle do? It puts you in a in a drawing for the Desert Ridge campaign code. Win the campaign code for the Desert Ridge. I'm saying I think I can beat these guys because I've been income sending. And that's why in a perfect world you do income and king but if you're playing like if you're playing people that are really good you don't ever want to do that right not often i think i'm gonna re reveal the winner after this game actually oh 
Oh no no it 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 doesn't it doesn't hit for after it doesn't hit for a while. It doesn't like do it uh, during. I wish it did. That would be awesome if it did that. That would be really cool. So my teammate wants me to stop auto sending, and I'll do that. Do do. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for that follow. Thank you for that follow. Yeah, this is a very long wave. Very long wave. Thank you for that follow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, first three N. Give away stuff more. I, I know how Coney does that. So this wave, I'm screwed. I'm just going to leak, and my teammate just received a send. So the hope is that my teammate holds me. But by not income sending, I'm behind a little bit on gold, and I'm just screwed. And my teammate's saying he's going to leak here, or she is not good. Going for the arcane tanks. I have one thing of DPS. They don't go here, which is amazing. Much better next because I can get the life binder. Doesn't mean my teammate's an idiot. It just means my teammate pushed harder than maybe they should have. Yeah, they do receive less gold. That is correct. It's it's just that balance of what's good for me versus what's good for them. That's all it comes down to. What's good for me? What's good for my opponent? I do want it to tank a little bit, if ever possible. Is it more important for me to be strong or our team strong? You know? True, but okay. If you just income king the whole time, or sorry, if you just income never king, uh, we're going to do that after the game, Mala. If you just income and never king up, but you never take any king damage, well, then you never, oh my goodness. You never really needed, uh, you never really needed the, uh, the king ups, did you? And if you're scaling like that, hopefully you shouldn't need the king ups. Always for Doof to be strong, F the team. Uh, correct. Absolutely correct. Now we needed to reroll for something to save our ass here. Got a couple of options. I will auto. I I'm going to tell my teammate I'm going to send. We are in big trouble here. Massive trouble. Like we are fucked trouble. Luckily, I rerolled some really good stuff. All right, so I've got a couple options here. I can do Sky Queens, or I can just do a Trinity Archer. I will 100% do the Trinity Archer. Actually, I kind of want it behind so that maybe it will die last. King attack so that we don't die. Yeah, take, exactly. You push so many workers, you take king damage. Holy shit, this is a big, big send. And you don't even care. You don't even care, like, about taking king damage because you're you're hurting the, the, the opponent. Oh my god, this hurts. And this is exactly what you do when someone is just income kinging. Right? You go for a big, nasty send. And then now we go back for that big nasty send right back. It definitely would. It definitely would. This would have been a great time to be sued to. I thought about it today. I'm not gonna lie. I 100% thought about it. But see, now that they're send. Definitely won't. Now that their send didn't kill us, right? That was a massive send, right? 
It was a 500 and a 400 send. So they've been starving themselves for a very long time. But we've been doing Income King. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, the suit, the suit's a different doofus. In lower elos, people usually overbuild and games tend to be longer. Would you still recommend income sending often? I think in lower elo, I would. And in lower elo, you want to push as many workers as you can without leaking. Or just barely leaking. Right? Because I still think when those games go long, if you can compound more and more, you're just going to destroy people. It's in the higher elo that people get a lot more starvy. Right. So let's say Let's say my name's Doofus. No no. Um let's say What was I trying to say? Because it's fun, Elena. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. It's my favorite thing. I love these games. I talk to chat, I'm teaching. It's so much fun. This is why I like losing. Because then I get to play these all the time. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Income king, yeah, yeah. So if you have one of those really long games that goes, like you're saying, like the really late waves. If you push workers harder than your opponents, and both sides are sending income king. So there's income king, there's income king, there's income king, there's income king. But you're pushing workers more. You're going to start to... It's going to snowball. There's going to be a snowball effect. Right? Where you're just going to start rolling. Like a ball. That ball is just going to start rolling. Oh my goodness. And that's exactly what you want. Is you want to get that ball rolling. And just outscale the people you're playing. Another Yasora. Not want that life binder to die. Add this right here. Uh, which Merc do you think is the least most useful in general? Uh, normally I'd say Centaur and Imps. Imps are really good. Centaurs also. I mean, they've had to nerf Centaurs so many times. You can send Centaurs on like, the worst time. This guy looks like he's suiciding into me. Yeah, that guy's suiciding, so I... If they don't die, I tell my teammate to income send because they did exactly what I talked about before. They did exactly what I... Oh, we might just die. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm holding on. I held on a very long time, even with the Sui. Go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Why didn't it go? You see that? You see that? I think we still win, but that was way too close. We barely win. Okay, Oof. See, they did the correct thing. Victoria. I was super far ahead. So this guy just committed to full workers. He's always leaking. Right? He's always leaking on 13. So he just buys only workers. I get, actually, he built a little bit. He built a little bit when he should have just full suited. But, but we won. Beautiful. Beautiful. Was I supposed to do something?